Hello my friends and welcome to my review of Ghost in the Shell. This is a brand new 2017 remake, rehash, reboot of the classic Japanese graphic novel that I've never ever seen. But I did see the animated film back in 1996 while I worked at Blockbuster. I rented the film from 1995 and I think that was my introduction to Japanese animation in general. I remember liking the film but I didn't remember it too much. And in preparation to finally see this movie tonight, I know it came out last weekend, but I really had no desire or no anticipation or no ex real excitement to see it, but I was curious about it. I, mean, I saw it tonight, but two weeks ago, my friend let me borrow his Blu-ray of the original 95 film, Ghost in the Shell, which I have right here. Still, I gotta return that to him. You gotta give that back to him because I have watched it. And what I will say about this movie is I don't understand a lot that is going on in this film. It's very... Surreal, weird, strange, interesting, but what I enjoyed about this movie so much, and I'll get into the, the new version, what I enjoyed about this movie so much is that it was visually stunning and extremely action-packed, and not too long. It was like an hour and eighty hour and twenty minutes. Hour and twenty-two minutes. Okay. So on to the brand new remake, which stars Scarlett Johansson. Yes, Scarlett Johansson. There's other people in the film, but Scarlett Johansson is the big star in the movie. She plays Major. She is a woman, but she only really has her brain, and she's now got her brain in a synthetic robot body, and she fights crime. She fights the day in this world city that looks like a combination of many cities in Japan, I'm guessing. Uh, it, it This film does look... Extremely different from the animated film. Again, I've never read the original source material, so I don't know how true the animated film was, and I don't know how true this film was. What I will say, thanks to the, well, you know, when you saw the trailers, you knew that this movie was going to be a very interesting looking film. So, I, what I will say is, what really held my attention wasn't the story, wasn't the characters but was the visual aspect of this entire film. Now, I did see this movie in 3D tonight, and what I quickly will say about the 3D, there are some nice scenes that I think you should put the 3D back on and then take it off and put it back on and take it off because I don't think this movie entirely needed to be presented in 3D, but there we go. So, honestly, the 3D was okay. I liked it, but I'm not going to care about it come tomorrow. Okay, um, I really again don't fully understand what i've just watched entirely there's a lot of stuff that goes over my head a lot of different weird ideas that are probably explained better in a novel or the graphic novel itself um i think there are more things left up to the imagination especially in the original 95 film that i think are more fully explained in this one and sometimes that worked I know it tried to create some sort of emotional connection to the audience. I never was really emotionally enthralled by this film at all. Only because of the visuals. I was like, wow, this movie looks really cool. And that looks great in 3D. And Scarlett Johansson looks great in her skin suit. Because it's PG-13. They can't have her naked like the original animated film. So we have to make her all PG-13-like and not really give her a full identity, though I th she is a woman, but, you know, not according to her body. Anyways, um, she she's cool, I guess, somewhat in the film, though she's playing this really generic robot that has all these great powers, and Scarlett Johansson has shown in the past with the Avenger movies that she can kick butt, but you just don't really care about whatever she's going through with this path that she goes on in her life i do like that there were some nice action set pieces i wish they were more uh thought out well when it came to the action and the camera work i felt like we get a little bit of action and then suddenly we're moving on to something else and i think the action was captured better in the original animated film um, but I think this movie does explain, try, it does try to explain more to the audience of what's actually going on instead of leaving it up to you to think. Because I think I would have liked something, I would have enjoyed something more that left it more to my imagination. And again, I don't know what the original material was, but that's what the animated f film did. 
I watched the animated film and I enjoyed it, but I just remember going like, "What's going on?" Half the time, I I, I don't really know, but I, I I'm I'm enjoying this experience. But with this film, I was like, "What is going on?" Half the time, and I'm not really enjoying this experience overall. Thanks to the visual uh, part of this, parts of this movie, uh, the way the movie looks, the sound, the music, the costumes, more of the production design. I would say the movie is definitely worth seeing, especially if you're going to pay matinee price or cheaper. I went on a special Tuesday where prices were lower, and I think it was definitely worthy of the price since I did want to see it in 3D next to with the sound and stuff. But nothing really took me away when it came to the story and the characters. This movie is more of a visual piece than actual uh, compelling storytelling. Maybe you can find, maybe it's, even though I didn't fully understand the original animated film, maybe most people that are more intellectual when it comes to stuff like that might get more what's going on with the mind and the ideas of robots and, and this, this, this weird futuristic city where people are, you know, they, they want to better themselves and so they better themselves through technology instead of maybe working out or doing something uh, naturally. Uh, so I think that's handled better somewhat in the original film, but at the same time, the original film had some really great action. I mean, some really violent action sequences that were pretty intense. Even if I wasn't understanding everything totally, they were still pretty damn intense. Where this one, I, I'm, I'm very conflicted. It's a movie that I don't think I'll ever watch again. It's a movie that I don't think we're going to see more films or in this franchise. I think the animated films will probably will see more of those in the future. Because I don't know how successful this movie was. But I would say this is not a bad movie. It's not a terrible, awful film. It's watchable. It's decent. It's interesting enough because of the visuals. And the story is confusing sometimes. But I think the underlining moments of the story are interesting enough to get you to the end of the film and not feel like you totally wasted your time. So, I enjoyed the film, but I wish I was more emotionally entangled into it. I wish the movie had more of a personality, more of a sense of humor. I know it's a dark, film noir kind of film, but I wish like there was moments of levity in the film to make you like you're going through all this tension, you're all this excitement, and suddenly you get a good laugh out and you enjoy uh, the whole experience. I do want to say, yes, the cast is uh, very talented in the movie, but I'm so sad to see a great actor. I believe his name is Michael Wincott or Wincote or Wincote Michael. I think that's what his name is. You know, he he was great playing villains in the '90s in The Crow and Strange Days, and I just think he's a great actor. I think he did a. Uh, I think he was also in another. I think no, maybe he wasn't in that film. But I, I really like him as an actor, and I felt like he didn't have a lot to do in this movie, and it was quite a shame. You have a really great actor, and you give him really nothing to do, and it's kind of a bummer because I think he's a really great villain, and he could have been a really great villain for this movie, but whatever. Other than that, um, I don't want to talk about this movie much more. I've already wasted too much of your time. I liked the film mainly because it looked cool, and that's about it. And for that, I am going to give Ghost in the Shell that I saw in 3D. I will give it a slight, very generous, three stars out of four. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and share this video. And also, please check out these amazing movie websites. And if you enjoyed this review, please click here to subscribe to my channel and also please check out all my recent reviews right here on YouTube. Have a great day, live film, find peace, happiness, and harmony in anything and everything you do. And I'll talk to you at my next movie review.